very glad i am very very glad that uh, the government of india announced the padma shri award for me field of sculpture actually i belongs to the modern sculptor actually for the last of 60 years i am involved in the modern sculptures right from the beginning 1970s onwards i am doing uh, modern sculpture i am not associated with the temple carving temple sculptures i am not at associated and because of the modern sculpture i am asked to do the telangana martyrs memorial at gun park i am i have got the education in the college of fine arts with the in the uh, 2050 1957 onwards i am there that means i am actually in the field of sculpture for the last 60 years with this experience 1950 72 i got the commission to do the telangana martyrs memorial it is a really a great pleasure for me to say that i have been commissioned for that big memorial for the cause of telangana the one who sacrificed their life they they have sacrificed their life for the cause of telangana and for separate telangana issue so this is the typically uh, during the period of andhra pradesh this commission this uh, sculpture stupam telangana martyrs member stupam is awarded to me during 1968 i have initiated the welding sculptures first sculpture i did bithuna which is uh, selected in the national gallery of modern new delhi and that has been uh, compared with uh, associated with picasso duchamp of the france sculptors and the government of india uh, i mean actually major critics they have said this sort of art has been not seen in our halls so i am i have become a trend setter in the field of metal sculptures of international standard See, I am I was born and brought up at old city Aliabad, and the city college I have educated in the uh, graduation. And uh, as a matter of fact, my uncle Ekka Ragolu used to do the Ganeshas during Nizam period. So by the by, I was very much with him, helping in hand, and uh, I got uh, inspiration from my uncle uh, Ekka Ragolu. who used to do the ganeshas and processions and like uh, kaitabad ganeshas in hyderabad so that was a major uh, experience for me i, I mean I, i was major involvement major uh, decision for me to do to go to the field of sculpture and uh, by the way my father is a philosopher philanthropist and my mother is a uh, the artist uh, um, that is uh, జానపద గీతాలు పాడుతున్నాయి ఆమె జానపద గీతాలు ఫోక్ ఫోక్ సాంగ్స్ సో దట్ వాజ్ ది త్రీ కంబైన్ కాంబినేషన్ ఆఫ్ మై అంకుల్స్ మై ఫాదర్స్ మై మదర్స్ కాంబినేషన్ బ్రాట్ మీ టు ది ఫీల్డ్ ఆఫ్ స్కల్చర్ ఐఎమ్ ఐఎమ్ ఫీలింగ్ హ్యాపీ అండ్ దిస్ వన్ ఆస్పెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ సెకండ్ థింగ్ ఈజ్ డ్యూరింగ్ నిజాం పీరియడ్ నైన్టీన్ థర్టీ ఎయిట్ నైన్టీన్ థర్టీ ఎయిట్ నిజాం ఎస్టాబ్లిష్ ది ఫీల్డ్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ స్కల్చర్ అండ్ when he has 1938 when he established and it is because and uh, you know the uh, islamic culture doesn't uh, encourage the sculpture and in spite of those things nizam uh, established uh, department of sculpture that made me to enter inside and uh, i have become a sculptor and uh, studied the so many uh, uh, inside and outs of the sculpture to to know the modern styles of the sculpture i got the inspiration from henry moore and picasso of the france during that period so that the entire background and here in india i am inspired with the shankar choudhary janaki ram balbir singh kat kane kuni raman from kerala from punjab from calcutta these are major sculptors who have influenced me for the to do some uh, some Uh, research work and uh, uh, to do some sculptures of the modern style in the field of uh, in indian contemporary indian art funniest factor is nizam being a fanatic and islamic uh, background 
he established established the field of uh, department of sculpture to encourage the field of sculpture and uh, i take it uh, in this way that uh, I, i do not know but is a fact uh, i think he, he has uh, established the department of sculpture nakuraku vetinda annattu ga anipistadi and uh, because uh, he has uh, he established it and I entered it i have come become a modern sculptor and what of with all these things my experience in the uh, rather in the field of sculpture and uh, evolution of sculpture and uh, uh, sculptors is i am sorry to tell you neither previous government encouraged nor present government also is not taking so, so much interest in the field of sculpture art is uh, and more especially sculpture modern sculpture cannot be understood cannot be immediately understood by the uh, masses otherwise than any individual who look who on looks to it because they are associated with the uh, history i mean ramayana mahabharata so many episodes of the religious and mythological situation that too is um, shivalinga and shiva shiva leelalu if that those things because they were having a background of those mythology so they will appreciate the mythological figures and and bigamulu and dance forms and so many temples have developed in the south india very much because of mythological inspiration mythological establishment the people are habituated to know only the mythological sculpture they would gullu gopuralu malla మూర్తులు మూర్తి భవించ మూర్ మూర్తుల స్టాచ్యూస్ ఫిగరేటివ్ స్టాచ్యూస్ దే హ్యావ్ అప్రిసియేట్ బట్ వెన్ ది ట్రెండ్స్ కమ్ కేమ్ యాజ్ ఎ మోడర్నైజేషన్ సి యాక్చువల్లీ స్కల్చర్ ఈజ్ మెషర్డ్ ఇన్ ది ఇన్ ది ఇన్ ది ఫామ్ ఆఫ్ సెంచరీస్ ద వాట్ ఆర్ ది ఎవల్యూషన్ ఆఫ్ ది స్కల్చర్ వాట్ ఆర్ ది కల్చరల్ బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ మహంతారు అరప్ప యూ ఫైండ్ వన్ లిటిల్ టెరకోటా స్కల్చర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఫౌండ్ ఇన్ ఇన్ ది మహంతారు అరప్ప which tells you the uh, background of the culture and the, the tradition and during that period how they lived and those are the historical evidence you will get from the mahajitar arappa dance figure so the, the, the when sculpture is measured in the century wise my contention is what is the, your contribution when we, we go on appreciating the previous sculpt, sculptors and uh, uh, all temples and all that is no doubt about it the, their contribution was there till 20th century what what about 19th till 19th century 18th century 20th century artists contributed for the field of sculpture or painting so that uh, opinion that uh, merged out uh, in the in the artist uh, and uh, chintamani kar uh, initiated in bengal artist they, their onwards the modern trends started and they have differed with the realistic uh, artwork and they have given their but one thing is here i have to tell you these uh, modern sculptures are not belong to the my, neither mythology nor religion nor any other situation they they gave gave the independence to the sculptors artist they have to express their own views of the public uh, their experience of the nature and other things they are, they can have the their own uh, expression in the field of sculpture or in the painting so that was the main reason that uh, modern style of 20th century has come and uh, that has been spread in delhi and Beng- bengal and punjab and south uh, uh, tamil nadu and kerala and maharashtra that uh, was going on my thought was there what about our telugu people have contributed to the modernization modernization of the art and sculpture or painting so that uh, made me to do modern sculpture in stone in metal in terracotta and in wood and so many other materials modern art has been encouraged in the north india very much northern india very much in southern india tamilians uh, initiated to to the extent of uh, uh, modernization of this culture in kerala they did not do but uh, as a matter of fact to be fr- frankly speaking uh, it is me from telangana and andhra pradesh i have contributed to the modern contemporary modern indian sculpture uh, and another question was uh, for us that uh, 
the modern artist should modern modern art should not be uh, should not be copy of the other other countries and other things so modern art also should communicate indianness indianness not art for art sake not individual expressions so many other but it should have the character of the indian indian modern art so that is the reason i have struggled and i have given a, uh, modern art in my own style and that has been appreciated in national and international level so one year indianness of the art was more essential during the 80s 90s uh, to that extent now 20 of uh, of 20th century now now we are finding the uh, language of art in, a, in a, uh, it is not identified uh, either country wise or continental wise or so many it is uh, mixed and uh, any uh, any form uh, it is foreign uh, external foreign countries art also it have only question of doing his own individuality not indianness so that is the reason the art is very much confused sometimes and people are not appreciating because they cannot understand uh, to the uh, uh, to the extreme uh, styles of modern art government uh, doing uh, so other fields like sports and uh, so many cultural uh, uh, dance form uh, sports and literature and music also music these are the faculties they are immediately uh, giving attention and uh, they are supporting it they are making all arrangements uh, for them and they are financing and actually government is patronizing all those other faculties but it is not at all patronizing it is not at all encouraging i wish now it is a time for telangana government uh, that uh, as because the telangana contributed this field of sculpture to the international level uh, sculpture should be given much priority and government should come forward to patronize the sculpture modern indian sculpture uh, in the form of uh, so many other situations and if government patronizes see as far as uh, Uh, my achievements to this extent uh, uh, when uh, padma sir came to me up to that level i have given my struggle to uh, to elevate the field of sculpture to the extent of merit and demerit of the padma sri level but uh, uh, that is what that is my individual uh, struggle individ- individual efforts i i made to this extent now i request the government of telangana they should come forward if they come forward with the so many other if they give me chance to uh, express my views my own my own experience of 60 years in the field of sculpture they can utilize my services if they come forward to utilize my services i am well i welcome it in painting you find uh, colors there are two aspects of the painting and sculpture so sometimes in a research form one will give an opinion the color blind man will do the sculpture form blind form blind man will do the painting because color blind man cannot uh, uh, he cannot identify so many colors in the paintings and other things he cannot get that chance he, he cannot but heart is there the, the basic element of art is in him so he will do the Uh, forms forms like that and another uh, situation in the uh, i mean uh, art uh, is uh, henry henry moore other day said that uh, whatever occupy the space is a sculpture i mean that uh, freedom he gave and uh, that that much freedom he gave to the field of sculpture whatever occupy the space is a sculpture and uh, whereas uh, Schenk, uh, picasso what he said the when uh, sculpture is available in a, in its own form we should not disturb it we should accept it as it is and uh, with some modification otherwise also directly we can use it so that was the difference between and uh, henry moore has given a big uh, thought basic uh, philosophical thought like uh, love mother and child and uh, so many uh, and love and mother and child uh, in reclining figure in that uh, he has experimented in stone he has experimented in uh, metal he has experimented in wood also so one subject he has experimented in so many media so that was uh, his concept he, he gave mother and child he, that's uh, such a big subject uh, it is uh, it gives the 
uh, love of between mother and child and it it has uh, the uh, henry moore's sculptures are uh, world uh, world level they have uh, i mean appreciated and different media different experience different posture he gave that is a very much and reclining figure also he gave several uh, uh, posture which is a, which is appreciated and in the modern level is a, is known as a father of the modern artist similarly picasso also experimented and they differ with uh, henry moore and picasso is picasso has taken uh, whatever available material in the nature and uh, he, he 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 found in in that material some expressions were there so that expressions he exposed in uh, available material he did not say he did not do anything in it he, uh, one example is he picked a uh, seat of the cycle and handle of the cycle he displayed it in such a way it has become a head of the bull it is it is world over appreciated it is it is, it is kept in the international museums and uh, picasso there onwards he, he, he did see it backward and went went on doing available with available materials and sometimes a stunt he was he created a stunt whereas henry moore created a philosophy depth of philosophy of love and uh, Uh, so many other forms reclining figures so so these two combinations uh, are very uh, appreciable and we 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 should get the inspiration from these uh, international artists as a, because they were known as a father of the uh, modern uh, sculptures so like that india also experimented during early period shankar choudhary did very simplified forms very very simplification whereas uh, janikram from south kerala I mean, Tamil Nadu. He he did a metal sculpture in so many hammering and doing so many forms and other things. So like that, and another Kerala, Kanai Kuni Raman did a huge sculpture of with brick and uh, material and constructive forms and made it a sculpture. So my contention is, if one is involved deeply, if one is uh, got the knowledge of the and we should get the inspiration from the nature and we should do the uh, from the nature when when we get the knowledge when we, when we inspire from the nature we have to give the um, the thing of our experience of the nature in the form of art with this background uh, when we see the uh, art in uh, telangana either in andhra pradesh are in uh, sometimes uh, in india uh, presently uh, we find uh, students are not serious enough they are not giving a serious thought about it and sometimes some people are giving I, I don't say all the artists are not doing seriousness but a very very little number of the people are gone to the seriousness and uh, they have given experimentation and so many other things they, they are doing that's a different issue but i feel sometimes the students of a uh, fine arts he should be very serious he should go into the nature and he should observe the nature and he should again trans- translate it he should translate the nature in the form of art with his own expression that has to be done and one thing more the uh, teaching uh, in the colleges are not that uh, in in that way it is they are not uh, i mean properly guiding the students uh, so that he can uh, go further but whereas uh, realistic work they, they they need not do anything only copy of the ancient sculptures or art but whereas here in modern art modern situation the teacher is more involved teacher history of art teacher and the concerned teacher of painting or sculpture he is more important uh, to guide the people guide the students and that is not available i am sorry to tell in a, in the college of arts not not only in india elsewhere also the modern art also is a is a more basically modern art is more basically communicative art it gives the philosophy it gives the onlooker a message it should give the message i give an example of shivalinga shivalinga is a, i i claim i i i, I want to sell and tell you that shivalinga is the most modern sculpture available in the world 
more, most mo modern sculpture available in Shivalinga is available in the world. It is having a, a philosophy of uh, Indian philosophy of uh, Vedic philosophy and uh, Dvaitam, it, it also communicates the uh, philosophy of uh, um, Vedas, Puranas and our own cultural aspect which is background, uh, our own culture is deep, deeply involved with the link of the Vedic philosophy and Puranas. So modern sculpture, uh, Shivalinga is giving a, such a beautiful uh, uh, expression of uh, modernization. Even I tell you, nobody can now overtake uh, the Shivalinga art of sculpture uh, uh, in the modern way. This is already a modern sculpture. Now I say the Shivalinga itself is a modern sculpture. No, because it is having a simplification, it is having a philosophy, it is communicating bhakti yoga and uh, adorable form, it is adorable form. So that has to be done and this, uh, this aspect, the, our own uh, ancestors, I mean good old and sculptors evolved Shivalinga in this form and uh, if you see, if you see Nagda Satyam, it is actually a uh, Mithuna, mythology, Mithuna, it is a sex situation expression in the form of uh, Shivalinga and uh, it is an adorable form. It is not a, uh, what is called erotic. It is not erotic. It is adorable. Uh, grandfather, father, um, brother, sister, ladies and gents can see it and adore it. It is not erotic. You find Kajura and so many other places, erotic sculptures are there. The theme is, theme is to express erotic sculpture is there. But the same theme is expressed in the Shivalinga in, and converted it as a adorable form. The, the, they adore it. The philosophy says adore it. And uh, Shivalinga plus Ganga uh, over, over on the Linga and uh, uh, Nandi in front, it is called as a installation. Install, now installation uh, art also has come in the form of sculpture. Installation. So, uh, and, uh, some people claim installation art has come from the Western countries. I differ with it. And actually installation is initiated by the, our own Indian sculptors and Indian artists and in the shape of Shivalinga you find installation and you find uh, such a, uh, such a uh, more philosophical thought is uh, expressed and installation of Shivalinga, Ganga and Nandi becomes a most modern installation. It cannot be, work, it can, nobody can overtake that installation and cannot do anything like that and uh, uh, it is installation is complicating philosophy of Vedas and Dvaitam Advaitam. Dvaitam, see actually our Indian philosophy consists of uh, Advaita and uh, out of Advaita Dvaitam has come. So Dvaitam, uh, out from Dvaitam again we have to reach Advaita. So Dvaitam Advaita philosophy is complicated through Shivalinga, it is known as Nagna Satyam and uh, you, can, uh, you can adore it and you can understand it.